This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. Here we're going to explore and do a hike along Mount Tamley, which is part of the Delaware Water Gap, which is part of the Kennedy Mountains, which is the high ridge area of this part of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And you see the beautiful Delaware River flowing around and causing this gap and this break in the uh, mountains to be created over a long period of Georgia time. And this is going to look at the hike itself of the red dot trail and down the blue dot trail and then also look at the geology of this amazing area carved by the Delaware in the Appalachian Mountains. So on the drive in towards the hike, you see this beautiful Mount Tamley in front on the left, and the parking lot is park and get ready, and then you go to the Red Dot Trail, which is the fastest way up, and we start the, the hike, and I was definitely not prepared for this hike. It was in the summer, and just wearing sneakers and shorts and t-shirt, and I thought, okay, it'll be a decent hike, but it's 1,527 feet to the summit of Mount Tammany, which is a, a decent elevation gain uh, from the uh, river where the parking lot is situated. And you know this amazing trail up the uh, side of the mountain. And as you can see, it's, it's very rocky. It's very uneven. It's exposed outcrops uh, and definitely a well-versed trail. But it was definitely a, a steep incline and gradient. And going to have some amazing rock formations with some striations and glacial De uh, deposits and glacial scarring of the last 2.6 million years of the cycle of hot interglacial and glacial periods where the ice is going to recede and advance and this part of New Jersey and Pennsylvania had all three major ice caps advance over this area so you see a lot of scarring from glacial action glacial processes so you get up to various erratics and you see a lot of the Shawagunk formations, which is pretty much a resistant quartz and quartzite uh, conglomerate mix. Now we get to the first overlook, which is a great uh, place to get a real feel for the area and how high you've walked uh, over the past like 30 minutes, and you get this beautiful view of the gap. Then we're back on the trail, and the scenic overlook, the top overlook, is, well, for me, about an hour hike up the mountain so it was definitely a rigorous and energy expending trail and hike but it was well worth it because the the formations the the geology the 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 quartzites going over the different formations great you also get some bloomsburg red beds which is the red shale and the sandstone and you get all these different resistant rocks that have been there and resistant from weathering. Now here we got a great example of this this ridge area that has shown the through, through weather and erosion the exposed rocks and the tilting and the pressures that these rocks are under to form these these inclined layers and tilted layers of exposed outcrops. So these quartzite. This is the Schwangunk formation and pretty much awesome to see up close. You can see the the way it's weathered, you can see the fault lines and the joints, and then it's going to continue up the mountain and you get different stages of these exposed tilted rocks. And you see the striations, you see the, the, the direction of the uh, ice caps and the glaciers as they moved over this area. And the trail, especially with the exposed rock, is great to, to witness the change in rock formations and how they are or how they've been laid down now you see these these joints in the rock this is actually how the Delaware water gap actually began with the river starting to flow south southeast and what happened is it found these joints and these gaps and started to weather and erode and over a long period of time started to carve a notch carve a gap in between the mountains where there was an area of weakness along these joints. So on this red dot trail, it gets very steep in certain areas where literally you're just climbing up some parts of sheer rock and you get this very uh, difficult or advanced trail where the rocks are very um, 
slippery in sections or loose or just the steep incline makes it very difficult. So we're getting to the top of Mount Tamani here, and the actual summit is uh, 1,527 feet, but we're actually the top summit outlook where most people go is actually not at the top. It's just below the top, but you get a stunning view of the Delaware Water Gap and the, the river down below. Now, the river actually is at 290 feet elevation, so you have a elevation gain of around, you know, 12... 50, 12, 75 feet uh, increase. So it's definitely higher up. So you get this beautiful panoramic view of both Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And you see the river carving its way, meandering its way through the water gap. And it's one of the most famous gaps in North America, being the size and the scale. And, and uh, it has a lot of visitors approach uh, and come every year, but it gets beautiful view of the Mount Mincy on the Pennsylvania side, and obviously we're on Mount Tamney on the New Jersey side. So here's a great example of differences in, in rock resistance and how the water is going to carve down and form these beautiful little waterfalls. This is Dunfield Creek on the Blue Dot Trail as you come down from the summit of Mount Tamney, and you get this great experience to look at the rock uh, up close on the profile of the walls and see the redstone, shale, and sandstone, called the red beds. And after the waterfall, as you're walking back on the Blue Dot Trail, back towards the parking lot where you began the, the hike, you get these beautiful tilted beds of shale and metamorphic um, rock formations. A lot of the Bloomsburg red beds, which is the red shale and the sandstone. You see them on the edge of the river flowing down, which is Dunfield River, flowing down next to the Mount Tammany side. Now, this is the exit part of the trail back to the parking lot and now complete the hike but i definitely suggest doing this hike both geology and for hiking itself it's a fantastic trip and you'll really enjoy it